Yesterday, on this very program, we listed 15 symptoms of estrogen dominance as it relates to, you know, having too much estrogen in your body. We were speaking about obesity as a risk factor for nine different kinds of cancer, and we said there's a strong relationship between a person being obese and having a strong predisposition to cancer of the colon, breast, uterus, kidney, esophagus, pancreas, gallbladder, liver, and the stomach, and we said there are many risk factors involved uh, in the obesity situation. Number one, inflammation. Of course, inflammation of the body is uh, is very predisposing towards cancer, especially inflammation in the uh, GI system, the gastrointestinal system. We also said that belly fat increases the risk of woman's risk of pancreatic cancer, and the risk factors were insulin, inflammatory proteins, uh, estrogens, mechanical problems, and to promote uh, out-of-control growth of tissue cells because of high amounts of estrogen. Now, what are some of the symptoms, I ask you, of elevated levels of estrogen, estrogen dominance, so to speak? Let's go to the phones. I gave you 15 of them. I just want five back. Let's go to Greta in Brooklyn. Good morning, Greta. Good morning. How are you doing, Greta? Fine in you in this hot weather. Now, are you staying indoors, Greta? Yes, I am. Well, that's very good. If you go out, you better bring some water with you. Yeah, I always do have my bottle of water. Yeah, you've got to have it with you. It's so darn important in this kind of weather. It's, you know, yesterday I, I was, had a meeting I had to go to in Stanford, Connecticut. And I, I, I drove to Stanford and I got out of the car and, and I parked right in front of a food store. And uh, I think it was an A&P or Food Emporium, one of those. And right out in front of it, in the glaring sunlight of 95 degrees, 98 degrees, were hundreds of bottles of bottled plastic bottled water, uh-huh. just baking in the sun. Oh my goodness! I mean, and that is, and we were speaking about that the other day. That you know, you keep that. You go to you, you, you have bottled water with you, a bottled soda, a bottled juice. It's all plastic. You leave it in the car. You go shopping. Uh-huh. It's 140 degrees in that car. You come out. You're drinking plastic. You're drinking plastic. And it's the same thing. They had literally hundreds of bottles for sale. I forget how much it was, sitting in the baking sun for hours and hours and days and days. By the time you get to that water and you drink it, you're drinking di- you know, you're drinking dioxin, you're drinking bisphenol A, you're drinking phthalates, you're getting very little water, but you're loading your body up with plastic. In any case, that will lead to estrogen dominance, too. But what are some of the symptoms we mentioned yesterday? I need give me five of them. I have all 15. You're kidding. Yes. Well, let's hear them. Okay, number one, breast tenderness. Yeah. Decreased sex drive. Yeah. Depression and anxiety. Dry eyes, abdominal fat, fatigue, foggy thinking, hair loss, irritability, insomnia, memory loss, mood swings, water retention and bloating, headaches, and irregular periods. Wow. Man, that is absolutely awesome. Yes. I guess you wrote those down, huh? I did. Well, good for you. Now you got to spread the word. Yes, I will. Those are the typical signs and symptoms of estrogen dominance, and that has to do with the fact that when you've got a lot of belly, more belly than you're supposed to have, and all of that fat is, you know, bunched up underneath, around your waist, male and female. If your waist is greater than 40 inches and you're a male, greater than 35 inches and you're a female, you've got extra visceral fat. That is not just a storage of fat cells, but a pro-inflammatory mush of estrogens that get leached out to the body, leading to over 15 different symptoms and a wide variety of illnesses as well. There is an acceleration of the aging process. People with extra estrogen have higher rates of allergies, including asthma and hives and sinus congestion. Big relationship between that metabolically active estrogen in your gut and autoimmune disease. Strong research about extra fat in your belly and lupus and thyroiditis and Sjogren's syndrome and breast cancer, early onset of menstruation if you're a young person, endometrial cancer, fibrocystic breast, gallbladder disease, an increased rate of blood clotting. It's an endless list of illness related to too much darn estrogen, related to you being a person being just too metabolically active, visceral fat prone.